hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to create or use button control in our qt qml application or how to you set its property or how to use it event or how to set style sheet on qt qml button control so let's start just simply import the qt q control now create the button tag define here id in qt widget application we use object name for it so here we use id so now let's set the width uh, 200 or it is uh, let's set 100 or let's set the text click me and set the anchor center in parent okay now let's run the application so you can see the button control in display in our qt qml application in center of our application now let's change to some height uh, 50 and width is 300 you can see the properties is changed now let's set the some text property so use here text now here also send the id my button text okay now just simply copy this line and add in your text text block now let's set the color also so just simply copy the your color text here just simply add the your hex value of color or also let's set the anchor set the parent okay now set the horizontal or text alignment align at center or for a vertical alignment use the align with center okay now set the elide elide for it so text dot elide right okay let's set the some font property also so set the point size point size let's set the uh, 20 and set the bold property also bold is true So in Qt widget application we use the font property or a font family for a set the font property and use the our text text property to set the text and for color and background color and also alignment for the text so this is a look like same for it but here we just have to write the the property names now let's create the click event now let's print the uh, message button is click okay in qt widget application we use a uh, signal and slot for create a click event and here we use a button click event on click function so you can see the message is display in our application output now let's uh, create the or set the some style sheet also so let's set the background uh, rectangle uh, let's set the color use id 
to set the property for it uh, is a press and set the when a button is pressed and other or set the other color so let's pick two colors uh, first of all first first for it and pick any other color and let's set the radius uh, radius is let's set the 5 now let's run the application so you can see when I click on the button the uh, color is changed so and also click it is also called and you can see the button radius so in Qt widget application we use the QSS for it and here we have lots of option for it uh, to set the properties and or it is a look like easy way to create a, a on click event and a rectangle and style sheet also and text property also so thanks for uh, please drop your comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching my video and please like this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new qml or qt qml related but uh, uh, videos and thanks for watching my video Thank you.